welcome to digital dental technology solution this video is the second part of the series how you can convert DCM files into STL files without any extra software without CAD points or without model builder even if you go through the model builder you will get the STL file of the model not the scan but if you want to get STL file of your scans I will show you in this video how you can easily convert upper and lower arches with the exact byte into STL so first if we go through the model builder what you will get just to see we have one case here with the unsectioned model I will go through the model builder and then we will see what we will get after the model building ok we are going through all the steps of the model builder digital dental technology solution model builder class after completing all the steps in the model builder if you go to the explore cam you will find your files you will get the STL files of the model you will get the STL file of your model not STL file of the scans so you can convert this type of order without going through the model builder and instead of getting the STL file of the model or oh, you can get STL file of the scan just follow me I will show you a very simple way how you can convert these DCM files into STL we have here order here doctor has selected this one as a digital model you can just select this one right click go to the advanced go to the explore order explore order you will find the data of the order now go to the scans go to the scans in the scan you will find the file upper and lower all the scan data you can go to the upper here is the upper file copy this one copy this scan and save it somewhere where you can use it later on you can rename it this upper scan you can rename it upper now go again back to the folder of the scans now we will go to the lower folder lower scan folder and copy the lower scan and we will save it in the same folder this is the lower scan you can rename it lower now go back to the dental manager and create a new order after saving first you have to save the scans in some folder then you have to create a new order so just create a new order you can select anything in the object type don't forget to select model this is important and then press ok now 
now we have created one order just import the scan that we saved in a folder Uh, you can see after importing the scan there is no yellow mark here no yellow mark so we can convert this order into STL using the simple way right click go to the advanced select the export then select the export order information to third party application and then select UDX order export and press OK. Save your folder somewhere. That's all. Now go to the folder where you have saved it. And here is the converted order. Open it and you will find your STL files. View them. So this is the STL of the upper. Check the lower STL. And here you can see they are in the perfect occlusion there will be no change in the bite in the occlusion they will you will get them as in DCM as in STL so this is the easiest way to convert the scan from DCM to STL and this is the was well, the first method obviously you can convert your scan from DCM to STL now let's talk about the other method how you can convert if the doctor has selected the order as some restoration like this order we have here you check the doctor has selected to inlay or onlays on this order how you can how we can convert these type of files into STL and you can see the some if you not understanding like here these two order the order before we converted this also has the yellow mark showing here and uh, now I'm going to convert this order it's also with the yellow mark yellow mark means you have to process the order before you can convert it that I have understand Let's see. I'm talking about Troy's order with yellow mark. Order with the yellow mark, how oh, you can convert them into the STL. So I will show you another easy way how oh, you can convert if you have if the doctor has selected some restoration and you receive the order with the yellow mark just right right click and go to the design in the design you can trim the scans you can remove extra scans and make your model fine after trimming upper and lower there is option called occlusal alignment you have to do nothing with this option just go next then next and you have to do nothing and here you can sculpt nothing to do with this one just go next next and it will promote to the option where it's showing like you select the tooth restoration just select your restoration 
and on the top click on the top of the restoration it will show like uh, cutting the dies you can change the color to see more visible just check that this cutting die is outside your margin line go next set the second restoration stop on the top make a click and it will automatically give you this and then go next no on the next step the system promotes you for the insertion direction so in this method after uh, sectioning your dies it will you have to close the case so first you will save it so first you will save it and then close it that's all for this no you will observe that after uh, sectioning there is no more yellow mark on this order there is no more yellow mark on this order so you have observed there is no more yellow mark on this order so we can easily we can easily convert this order into stl using our same simple way just right click go to the advanced go to the export and select the select the export order information to third party application and then select udx order export and press <coughs> press okay you can save your folder where you want to save and you are done now go to your folder open it and you will find here the stl files of your antagonist stl file your preparation and also stl file of your byte so if you want to use other software that can accept stl files you can convert these dcm files into stl even the byte even the byte you can convert into the stl this is a byte you can see STL of the byte. Also, you can see your preparation. So, check your antagonist, and you will observe they are in the same byte, same position as the doctor has sent you. So this is an other way how you can convert your DCM toys, toys DCM files or orders into the STL. So in this video I have talked about two ways. In the first way I showed you how you can convert if you have select, if the doctor has sent you order selecting the digital model how you can convert these files into stl and then the second method i have showed you if the doctor has selected some preparation how you can use as another simple method to convert these files into stl so 
have a good day don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the new amazing updates that coming soon and stay tuned thank you for watching if you like the video please share it with others so they also can make their life easy and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the updates and have a good day